Alright, hey everyone, this is Corsair AMD with AMD Log. Today, I'm just going to go right into it. I'm going to teach you guys how to do a shatter tutorial. So let me just open up my After Effects, and what we're going to do is we're going to do something very simple. Um, going back to one of my older videos, you can see shatter in effect right there. I'll play it several times. Uh, it's a really simple effect. Um, if your computer isn't too strong, you might have some troubles rendering this out, but it's pretty easy and it's really fun to do. And this is just an example, so feel free to apply it however you want. You can really make some interesting scenes using this shatter effect. So we're right into After Effects, new composition. I'm going to work a little fast because I don't want to bore you guys with my talking. So I'm going to make a new solid, I'm going to make it red. Take your square tool, mask out a square. Take the text tool, type in whatever creative text you want. So I'm going to say AMB log. That shouldn't be a surprise. All right, what you're going to do is you're going to duplicate this layer, control D, take the layer on top, take the pen tool, and kind of make some kind of weird piece. Something that's going to be chopped off. Try to line it up with the square mask underneath it the best you can just by moving the points. And it doesn't have to be exact because remember this thing is going to shatter anyway. Press M to open up the masks. You're going to delete mask number one and you're going to leave mask number two. You're going to go take mask number two, copy it, control C, and put it on the one beneath, control V. Then you're going to set mask number two to subtract. So if I turn off the top layer, you only see the bottom chunk, and if I turn off the bottom layer, you only see the top chunk. Put them both on, you have two separate pieces. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're just going to slightly make this adjustment, just so that way we make sure we don't run into any problems. You're going to take mask number two, and you're going to expand it by about mm, four pixels, you can do three pixels, something like that. Basically what that'll do is it'll define the two pieces we have so we don't run into any issues with the shatter. Then we're going to take this top layer and just use the points and kind of cover up that black line. Doesn't have to be precise. Like I said, this thing's shattering anyway. Alright, so we zoom out. Looks nice. Take the top one. Effect. Simulation. Shatter. And you guys are going to be like, whoa, I don't know what's going on. And all you have to do is hit shape and you're going to hit pattern, change it to glass. Change the repetitions to a reasonable amount. So right now we have only 10 repetitions, so these pieces are really large. So let's up it to like 39. All right, that's a pretty good amount. Don't worry about what's going on over here, because if you hit rendered for the view, and I drag the slider, oh snap, this piece of glass is totally chunking off. So if I just play that back at real speed, and there you have it. You have your little shatter effect. Now what's missing? Hmm. Well, first of all, the shatter is going really slow, and there's gravity, and there's all these little things that you can tweak. So what I suggest is just experimenting with all of these different settings that you can adjust under the effect control panel. So the forces are pretty much controlling how fast and how strong the shatter is going to be. Uh, the physics, you have all of the gravity and viscosity, the, even the rotation speed as the pieces tumble away. You have lighting and texture. Of course, what you're going to do later on is just add some camera work. Um, probably make these 3D. Uh, you could do the classic twitch on your camera method and things like that. And basically what you end up with is a very basic setup for what you can do in the future. Like this. If you have any questions regarding Shatter, feel free to drop me a message, ask anyone else on AMB Log. I know it's not difficult, and I know you guys can work well with it. So, good luck. Um, like I said, if you have questions, message us, and thanks for watching. Bye!